Hi everyone, welcome back to freshersworld.com. I am Rishmi Elias. In today's video also, we will be learning some shortcuts and tricks to solve the questions which are coming for various competitive exams quickly. This video is sponsored by an academy and after a small video, we will start our classes. Whether you are at a beginner, intermediate or advanced level of your coding journey wanting to become a problem solving master, this message is for you. An academy together with Godchef have started structured badges for people wanting to clear the coding fundamentals and become God level DSA experts. And before you enroll in any badge, you can get a test ride for free with their daily free live classes, weekend events and tests. These classes are taken up by people who have either cracked interviews at your dream companies or they are experts in the field of competitive programming like being problem setters of competitions, ICPC world finalists, courtship 7 star users. So you know, you will be taught by the best industry has to offer. So don't waste any more of 2021 and check out the free classes and courses and find out which batch is suitable for you. And believe me, you will find a batch that suits you for sure. You can check the latest batches, weekend events and free test in the description. Let's solve the first question. Find 87.5 percentage of 600. We know that x percentage of a number means x by 100. So here 87.5 percentage of 600 means 87.5 percent is nothing but 87.5 divided by 100 of 600 means into 600 i will tell you a shortcut so this 87.5 can be written as 50 plus 25 plus 12.5 and we know that 50 percentage of any number is half of that number so 50 percentage of 600 means half of 600 that is equal to 300 then 25 percentage of 600 is we know that 50 percentage is 300 so what will be 25 percentage half of that so 300 by 2 that will be 150 again 12.5 percentage is half of 25 percentage so half of 150 will be 75 so what will be 87.5 percentage of 600 it is 300 plus 150 plus 75 300 plus 150 is 450 plus 75 is 525 this calculation you can do in your mind itself next question a student who gets 20 percent in an examination fails by 30 marks and another student who gets 32 percent gets 42 marks more than the pass mark what is the maximum mark of the exam so, in this question, it is said that a student who gets 20% fails the exam by 30 marks. That is, he gets 30 mark less than the pass mark. Here he got 30 marks less than the pass mark. That is why I have put negative sign. And a student who gets 32% gets 42 marks more than the pass mark. So, to solve this question, we are not using any equations. So, from the details given, we know that the pass percentage is in between the given percentages, right? So, taking the difference on both sides, that is, difference in percentages, 32 minus 20, that is equal to 12 percentage. Difference in marks is 42 minus, it is minus 30. So, 42 plus 30 will come, so 70 so 12 percentage is 72 so from this we will be able to calculate one percentage right that is 72 divided by 12 that is equal to 6 marks so from this it is clear that one percentage is 6 marks and we are asked to find out the maximum mark so to find the maximum marks of the exam what we have to do it will be 100 percentage we know that 1 percentage is 6. So, what will be 100 percent? Put 2 more zeros. So, 6 into 100 that will be equal to 600 marks. Moving on to the next question. Root of 8 1 by 2 the whole square minus 7 1 by 2 the whole square. Here, inside the root we have a square minus 
b square we know that a square minus b square is nothing but a plus b into a minus b so we can write it as 8 1 by 2 plus 7 1 by 2 into 8 1 by 2 minus 7 1 by 2 8 1 by 2 plus 7 1 by 2 is 8 plus 7 is 15 half plus half is 1 so 15 plus 1 16 into 8 and a half minus 7 and a half is 1 so root of 16 will be 4 so root of 8 1 by 2 the whole square minus 7 1 by 2 the whole square is 4 next question the average of 10 numbers is 10 and if 3 is added to each number what will be the new average so in this question average of 10 numbers is given us 10 and here 3 is added to each number if this is the type of question that is average of some numbers will be given and to each number a particular number will be added or reduced or multiplied so in the answer also we have to make the same change that is here earlier the average was 10 to each number 3 is added so we have to make this change to the previous average so what will be the answer we have to add 3 to 10 so 10 plus 3 will be 13 Suppose if the question is if the average of 10 numbers is 50, if with each number 3 is multiplied, what will be the new average? So what we have to do? We have to multiply 15 with 3. So 15 into 3, we will get the answer as 45. Moving on to the next question. Convert the given fraction into a decimal number. That is 114 by 5. If the question is to divide any number by 5, what we have to do is just double the given number, then put a point from the right after one place. Here, 114, no? So, double it. It will be 228. Then, put a point from the right after one place. So, answer will be 22.8. Suppose if the question is to convert 63 by 5 into a fraction, what we have to do? Just double 63, that is 126. Then put a point from the right after one place. So 12.6 will be the answer. Next question. If the price of petrol is increased by 25%, by how much the car owner should reduce his consumption on petrol so that the expenditure on petrol would not be increased? Here, suppose if that car owner is having 100 rupees with him. Hmm? There is an increase of 25% means instead of buying the petrol at 100 rupees, he will have to give 125 rupees right but in the question it is said that the expenditure should not change so he should reduce his consumption so we have to find by how much percent he should reduce his consumption to keep the expenditure on petrol remain the same so for to find this you just need to take the difference here the change in price of petrol is 25 and the new price of petrol is 125. So, you just need to find how much is 25 out of this new price. That is 125. The answer should be in percentage. So, you have to multiply this with 100. So, 25 by 125 into 100. You can cancel out 25 and 125. 5 times 100 by 5 is 20. So, the answer is 20%. He should reduce his consumption to keep the expenditure on petrol remain the same. I hope this will be helpful for all those who are preparing for various government exams. We will be coming back with more interesting videos. So please stay tuned and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you like our videos. Thank you.